Hey y'all, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a gel. Um, it's kind of like a um, full cover tips set from an Amazon seller. I believe you pronounce it Credu. I'm not 100% sure on that, but they had sent me a drill a while back and I still use that for pedicures. It works really, really great. So they sent me this little kit here to try out. So I'm going to show it to you guys. Um, the link for this will be in the description box. So let's see what all is inside this little box here. Let's see what all the kit has. So here are the nail tips. This is just like, um, I think a lot of companies have these now. Uh, Cure Sky has these um, Jelly Fit tips or something like that. But they're all like the Gel X, the Apray. So you got all your different sizes here. They're in little baggies, which is a little bit harder to try to fit than it would be in a box. So if you have a spare box, that would be nice to go ahead and put these in because then it's going to be a lot easier to find your size. But there are a bunch in here. How many did it say? Not sure, but there's a bunch in these little bags. I'd say at least 50, if not more, in those little bags. They also come with... some clamps so you can put it on and then clamp it so it'll hold it for you so you can go into the light that's handy I don't have any of these they're not super super tight but just tight enough to hold them on there so that's really handy to have it's got two of those little clamps and excuse my voice guys I'm still trying to get over a cold so it sounds a little bit rough Okay, so we have the nail glue, but it's it's a gel, not a glue. And then a dehydrator to prep the nails with. It also comes with a little file and a little tiny mini light to cure. How cute is this light, you guys? So it's got a little USB plug. Get that opened up. Okay. okay so the cord on it is just a little bit shorter than what will reach for where I'm filming so I had to grab another cord but you plug it in and then you just click the button and it turns it on so you can flash cure cute little light so I'm going to demo one of these so I'm gonna have to take this nail off so I'm gonna take this one off and then I'll be right back okay so I got my press on soaked off and now we're going to find what size I need um, they have sizes 1 through 10 so a very good variety um, a 1 and it's gonna be way too big I'm thinking maybe around like a 5 or 6 so the bigger the size the smaller the tip so the 10 is going to be your smallest size and the one is going to be your largest. These are a gorgeous coffin shape. That one's too big. Maybe try a seven here. And they're pretty long. So I'm probably going to clip this back to match my other nails. And then I think I'm going to paint it to match as well and just wear it. Let's try a seven here. I think a seven looks pretty good on me. So you want to make sure it's covering sidewall to sidewall and it's not squeezing and pinching down on your nail. This has a beautiful arch in it. So <clears throat> I would compare these more to like a sculpted tip. Um, if you're comparing it to like the Gel X, you can see we've got a bit of a gap between my natural nail and the tip. So we're going to have to put a bit more gel in there to fill that in but that's going to make a beautiful shape now. So yeah, I think that fits really good. All right, so what you wanna do is, you know, you prep your natural nail just how you would for any um, application, gel polish, uh, acrylic. You wanna make sure that you get in all the cuticle off and that you buff over the surface. Of course, mine has been prepped already because I just took a press on off. So I'm just gonna clean up the edge a little bit here. Make sure I don't have any residual glue or anything or any cuticle and then I'm going to 
take a brush a little bit of alcohol on it and clean that off okay so it comes with a dehydrator slash nail prep <clears throat> and that's going to do um what that is going to do is take off any natural oils or anything you might have on your nail so we'll put that on and then we can also take this and build up the apex of the nail just a little bit so it meets this tip or we can do that when we put the gel inside the tip you can do it both ways I always like to put a little bit down first anyways and cure that before I go in with my tip so and it's got a nice let me show you the viscosity on this it's got a nice thick viscosity which is what you want for a system like this you want your your gel that is your glue part to be pretty pretty much on the thick side you don't want it to be thin like a base coat All right, so I'm gonna pop that in the light uh, for, well, what does it say to Okay, do? so it doesn't say on the bottle how long to cure the gel for, and the instructions are actually for gel polish, not for this kit, so it's telling you how to apply like a gel polish manicure. So it doesn't really tell you. So I'm gonna do it for a minute. Of course, you could do it in your little flash cure that it comes with too, but, this is just a flash cure. Um, so you wanna make sure if you're doing a system like this, you do have a full size lamp as well because this is only going to flash cure and you wanna make sure that you are curing the nail completely with a full size lamp. Okay, and then for your tip, once you fit um, all your tips to your nails, you want to etch the inside of it. If you don't have a um, an e-file to where you can etch the inside of it, you can take um, a little bit of acetone and do that and it will kind of etch the inside so I'm gonna do that as if I don't have a drill or an e-file I'll take just a little paper towel here they make a, a nail prep for these that you can get and it will do the same thing it's basically like if you have an empty polish bottle and you put acetone in it and then you can just prep the inside and see how it clouds it up and it gives it some texture so that way the gel will stick to it and it won't pop off as easily all right so we've got our nail with gel cured on it and now I've never used these clips before so I'm gonna try this with the clip we need a pretty good bit in here So it'll build that apex. <clears throat> this might be a little difficult to clip it on myself. I really don't know how I'm gonna do this, but yeah. Maybe I won't use the clip. We'll see. Okay, so I got my little light handy. So basically you could just you stick your finger in and there's a button on the bottom. You stick your finger in and click the button. So let me see. I can get you guys angled right so I can do this and we can all see <laughs> so you want to angle it from the cuticle and you want to push it forward that's going to fill up that space between and then once you get to the end you stop pushing so it doesn't flow everywhere I actually think I'm a little crooked here so Yeah, it's going to be really hard for me to use that clip, so I'm not going to. I want to try to get this applied correctly. Okay, got my little light on. Get my finger in. I'm trying to hold it so I don't get any air bubbles. I can feel it curing. It's a little bit warm because uh, I've got quite a big dollop of gel in there okay 
It's on there pretty good now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get my finger in the light a little bit more. And then once I feel like it's flash cured, check here, give it a good once over. Looks pretty good. And you can see where the gel has filled in all the space between the nail and the tip. It did go over a bit here on the end, but that's not a problem. I'm gonna stick this in my big lamp now and cure that for a minute. Alrighty, and that baby is on there good. I think that looks really good. I almost got no air bubbles. I got just a teeny tiny one right there, which is not a big deal. So I did really well. I didn't get too much gel on the outside. You can always take your file and file around the cuticle, which I recommend anyways, and that'll make sure that your um, nail is flush with your actual nail your um extension <laughs> is flush with your actual nail and then when you put your gel polish on it'll make a nice little seal around that edge there so and you want to buff over this or do the acetone trick again <clears throat> and make sure that you are giving the surface of this plastic or this gel tip i don't know if it's gel or plastic these are probably plastic but that's okay Anything that has a shiny surface, gel or plastic, it doesn't matter. You want to make sure you're giving it some texture or whatever gel polish that you apply to it. It's it's not going to stick if you don't. So um, I think that looks really good. I'm going to shorten it, though, but that is such a beautiful shape. Now, if this bothers you with the gel underneath, you want to be careful not to put too much. I might have had just a tiny bit too much there. So I'm going to shorten it up a bit and try to match it to these ones. Because if I don't, I am seriously going to hurt myself. <laughs> so just a nice slow clip there so you don't break it. And then take your file and straighten up the edge. And now you can also take underneath here, if you have an electric file, and go under and clean out that gel if it bothers you. It doesn't really bother me too much. So I'm just going to leave it. Alrighty, so I've got it shortened and I think that looks pretty darn good and I'm going to take a gel polish here. Um, a few that look pretty close to this set <clears throat> are Under My Skin, Delicacy, Bella Eat Poke. These ones are all really good, nice nude ones. I think this one might be the closest. So I'm just going to do that. What do we think? Yeah, that's pretty close. I'm going to do two coats of this real quick and then a top coat and I will come back to you with my final thoughts. All right, there we go. It's not a 100% match, but it's pretty close. I really like the shape of these nail tips. They've got a great C-curve to them. And if you leave them long, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just wanted to shorten this one up so it matched a little bit more with what I was wearing. I'm doing a wear test on these, so they're going to be on for quite a while longer. I just didn't want to have one finger looking a little really long and off <laughs> so yeah i like it i need a little bit of cuticle oil now from where i soaked off that other one because it's looking a little dry cuticle oil ladies all the time keep that oil on them nails help your nail tech out help yourself out yes so yeah, it's really, really cute. I like the set a lot. Um, the glue actually doesn't have a horrendous smell to it or the gel, the glue gel part. It doesn't smell bad at all, which is great. Uh, yeah, so I really like this uh, little set. Thank you so much, Credu, for sending this over to me to try out. Um, again, there will be a link in the description box so you guys can go check this out. You can get it from Amazon. I think it's a nice... Um, little set you get a whole bunch of stuff the only thing is the cord on it, it's a bit short so make sure that your uh, USB plug-in is kind of close by for your little flash cure lamp but this little flash cure lamp is awesome it's so easy to use it's the easiest one that I've got uh, to do it on yourself so you can hold it there and actually get it clicked and turned on while you still got a hold of that now the little clips um, not great for this kind of gel to apply with but if you're doing like a poly gel extension these would come in handy for sure but you really got to make sure you're careful um, if you're doing this on yourself and you're holding it down you can't really let go to put the clip on because if you let go you're gonna get an air bubble so that's the only thing uh, the clips I don't think will work with this kind of gel but with like a poly gel these clips would be so handy 
so yeah i love it i love it thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye okay so an update on these nails um i've had this on now for about two weeks and it is still going strong i am happy to report there's no lifting there's absolutely no issue whatsoever i am loving this and the little light made it so easy to apply this is one of my favorite ways to wear nails is doing like the uh gel x system um, and the little light made it so easy for me to do it on myself, which I struggle with so much with the other lights. So I really love this set. You guys go check it out. It's only $20 for the set. And I believe there is a coupon that you click um, for 20% off while you're checking out on Amazon. So you can save a little bit of money that way. So it's a great deal. Perfect little starter kit. And I love it. It's it's doing really well. So just wanted to give you guys an update on that and let you know. So yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.